What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So, just bring you guys the latest when it comes to Norito Denaire versus Nordin Obali. Uh, yeah, this fight has been a roller coaster ride. <laughs> um, we were supposed to see this fight in December, back in December of last year, but uh, because of COVID, it didn't happen. Uh, and now it looks like we'll be seeing this fight in May, according to Boxing Scene. The fight is now rescheduled to be taking place in on May 29 on Showtime. So, mark that down on your calendars. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this time around, everything goes well. If you guys remember, um, you know, Nordino Bali, WC champion, was supposed to defend his title for the first time after he won the title against Takuma Inoue. No, actually, after he defended, I should say. Excuse my language. He defended the title against Inoue. Um, you know, he was supposed to fight Nordino Denaire, who was a mandatory challenger. And next thing you know, Nordino Bali tested positive for the coronavirus so he ended up getting uh kicked out and actually he got stripped of the belt if i remember correctly and then nonito denaire was supposed to fight emmanuel rodriguez for the vacant wbc title next thing you know nonito denaire tested positive for the coronavirus and they found a last minute replacement in raymark gabayo from the philippines and next thing you know, Nonito Denaire claims that he actually didn't have the coronavirus after he showed a lot of proof that his second test came negative, his third test came negative. You know, he was showing that he's ready to get back in there uh, against Emmanuel Rodriguez. That he's, the first test that tested positive was a, uh, I think a false positive as they call it. That it wasn't really positive. And, you know, he, he ended up not fighting at all. Instead, we got to see Emmanuel Rodriguez versus Raymart Caballo. And Caballo ended up winning the fight in a controversial split decision win in a fight where I thought he lost. I'm going to be honest. As a Filipino fight fan, you know, I wanted Caballo to win, but I thought he lost. I thought he lost. I thought Rodriguez boxed a beautiful fight. And, you know, unfortunately, he ended up losing the fight, getting robbed, losing by split decision. And Caballo is now the interim champion. To my understanding, it seems like they might do a rematch, Rodriguez and Gabalo. And we have Donaire versus Obali taking place on May 29 to determine who the champion is. And I guess the winner of Obali versus Donaire will fight the winner of Rodriguez versus Gabalo next. So, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm looking forward to this fight. I can't wait. Uh, if you guys on social media if you're on twitter there was some somebody tweeted out saying that donaire uh retired on april 1 and it got me you know it got me i was like donaire retiring man man that sucks but you know he's what 30 38 years old now yep 38 years old so when that when that tweet blew out like a lot of people were retweeting it and everything you know i believed it for a second then i realized hold up it's April 1, and I went to his social media, you know, I went out to Twitter and Instagram, and I was like, don't I never announce his retirement? Next thing you know, it's April Pools, man. I've <laughs> I, I, re I realized, it took me a while to realize it was April Fools, that Donair is not retired, that he's actually fighting, and as you guys can tell, uh, he'll be fighting on May 29 against uh, the WBC champ, Nordino Bali. And uh, I look forward to it. I'll definitely be watching on May 29. Can't wait. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right. Thanks.